Uh, my first car was a Renault Clio 1.4 Dynamic. I had it for a little while. Um, it came with a year's free insurance, so that was an added bonus. I'm difficult, my own first boots, probably a pair of Puma King. Uh, obviously black leather ones back in the day, there was no uh, bright ones. Uh, just Sale United, obviously grew up in, in Sale, so it's inside Manchester and local team. Literally played about 200 yards away and uh, played there. I think I played when I was seven for about under nines and then uh, progressed slowly but surely to where I am now. Well, the first game I went to, my brother was, a, was a, um, on the books at Man City, so we got tickets to go and watch them at Main Road and I was sat there and uh, as, you, as you know, when people start to come towards the goal, everyone stands up and before you know it, I'm sat down in my chair not knowing what's going on and everyone's stood up and I, I missed a goal. So that was my uh, first memory of the rest of the game. I think my dad, any time uh, the ball come towards the goal, he had to throw me in the air to make sure I had a good seat. It had been possibly Skegness and I think I went over the handlebars of the bike. I used to go, one I remember, we used to play pool and stuff, but there was, I think I was actually too small to get on, but I managed to get myself on, on a little bike, and I uh, didn't really know where the brake was, so I ate the hay bale and... <laughs> Probably my brother, I've said that before, uh, five years older, so always wanted to do what he did. He was obviously pretty good, and uh, so just, just chasing him around, following him around, probably got a bit annoying for him, but that's... Uh, with the main reason I play football today. Uh, hamster died on my birthday, so that's never a good thing, is it? Gizmo, there you go. It's a, a guy called Daryl Wainwright, I think. He um, sort of took control of like Stokes feeder team, came here at a time, brought me here for the first time, and I was my, probably my first papa coach, other than obviously parents and, and, and brothers and things. Uh, he was a give me my sort of first uh, eye opening to, to you know, proper coaching and oh, there's, a, there's a couple that, that, that stand in mind. I think uh, proper ones, obviously proper team. I think uh, we played someone like Carlisle away in the youth team, and it was it was so cold and so wet. So I took my boots off at half time just to get some feeling back in my toes. Obviously the manager Russell Slade uh, was the manager came in. Obviously not happy, I think we were losing. <laughs> he's, 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 asked, he's asked me, not very politely, if I want to go back out again, because I've took my boots off. There's a few expletives in there, so obviously I've panicked. Just chucked my boots on as quick as I could and ran out for the second half. You, you tend up ending to get your own room and stuff these days, but I had Nick Montgomery once, but he didn't like the way I, I, I breathe quite deep in my sleep, and he's, he's a very fussy sleeper. So every so often he'd, he'd literally hit me over the head with a pillow, wake me up just, just to stop me from breathing. So we uh, quickly, quickly changed uh, roomies. Mm -hmm. 